So click here and add three columns. Then select the main section and then go on this and add some text, so some heading here. Then I click again here on the main section, full width, okay? And then I'm going to actually uh, change the text. So very quickly, add your text, duplicate, then add the text, click on here, text editor, and here I'm going to paste my text. Just check everything is fine. We are going to add a widget, the inner section, and then uh, right click on a column and it'll delete. So I'm going now to add some heading. Check the design here. As you can see, I'm going to add the text. And then like this, right. And of course, now it's all set it up. Click on the section, height, mean height and here we are going to set a mean height of course i'm going to set a mean height that i will change afterwards so just make something like this okay for now i will add 500 and uh, make sure this is selected okay um, the column after go on style and then change the color of the column as you can see it's not taking all the space so going to style Changing also the color of the text for now, then we will set up everything. So here we are. Click on the column, advanced, and here we can click on REM and change a little bit of the padding. Click on the section, then go here and change to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, go here and stretch the column position. Now it's taking all the space vertically. Now we need to add the text here. Let's say it's a link. I'm going to click here, add title and select it. I will paste my text, um, then make it center. Click on the column and then vertical align bottom. Click on advance, REM, change the bottom to two. Now click the other column style classic and I'm going to add an image. Here is my image library. This is a PNG and now I'm going to change the position to center center attachment. You can keep it like that. Repeat, no repeat, size, contain. Um, okay, so change the color of this, of course, and I make it black. Then select the last column again, style, classic, add the image, select it and add it like that. Click on the text style and change the text color to a green like this. Great. So now I can click on style again, change a little bit of the size of the text. As you can see, click on the column position center center cover for the image. Great. You can add a link or whatever you want. Now we have a tile. Okay. So now we're going to style all this. So I'm going to change the color first of all in my green and here I'm going to change the typography. So uh, AM and you know, you can change the size as you want. And then again here, click on the font typography and change it the size uh, with EM too. And here you can leave it like that. We are going to, oops, we are going to change also the text of the price uh, in a moment. So let me check everything is fine. Okay, click on the section here, VH, um, and make it 50, VH. And now it's taking the half of the page, like the 50% of the page. Um, and we're going to make some spacing here. Click on the column, layout, and then go on middle. Okay, um, looks good. Perfect. Now let's click here and go to add some spacing so that we uh, make it a little bit more uh, bigger like that. So let me check it again. You can have a look and it looks great here. We need to change the text a little bit. Okay. And then, yeah, looks good. Click on the column and now change it to, uh, let's see. Let's make it 50% um, and then 
the second column we can make it 25 and of course um, the last one will be 25 uh, by default because of course you can take more space uh, and then here we can change again the text you know you need to make the text fit the, the box um, here we also can make it different um, so I'm going to change the size of this let me try also to add uh, some spacing to the right so I highly suggest to use percentage and not REM like in the video so this is a mistake um, the line height you can change it to fit it better and yeah and the spacing we can reduce it okay so I want to actually now change the, uh, the main text I want the pro to be green and to do that um, we there is two ways CSS or we can just make this trick that I'm going to show you right away um, so go here click inner section remove one column and then you can copy the text paste it into it remove the last word click again advanced and then go on inline and duplicate this and click pro so now we have two different texts um, you can um, I tried with a space but it's not working as you can see so you need to select the pro go on advanced and then you can change the area M to uh, left and to of course unlock the little thing and now we have two words and we can actually pick up the same color of the razor so a style you can change the color and pick it up from the razor uh, and then of course uh, we can update it so there is a little problem on the spacing so click on the column here and then remove all the margin and padding so still you have the issue click on the inner section here and then make it full width and this should fix everything so now it's working fine great go on advance REM and here we are going to add our REM to the bottom to make some spacing okay looks great you can of course take some more time to fix it now I'm going on the tablet version In the tablet version click the first column and make it 100% click here and um, in this text uh, you need to remove the spacing and make it like that so now if I click on this other column I'm going to change to 50% and to the third column 50% of course we need to add some spacing here so let's add a widget so first click on here in this plus button space add the space and increase the space height like this you can play with it and yeah select the best space click on the desktop version as you can see now it's there and now we are going to fix a few things let's check the mobile version and we need to fix everything here column select and then here we can add a padding of one rem and then the text you can select it and change the size of it like this okay click the pro text and change the side the size sorry again um em and you can also um you know remove the space by going on advance and you change the spacing here you can make it zero or whatever you want or you can change it to pixels like 10 pixels in this case great so I'm going to click on the other text change the typography and the size of course again same thing this one is okay and uh, yeah you can also uh, you know set this better um, let's see um, yeah great so now I'm going to click on the razor and add some of the padding on the bottom I want some more space maybe not too much like one would be great or two REM and yeah it looks a little bit better um, so the mobile version have an issue at the bottom as you can see there is no spacing there so we need to add um, another spacing like we did here so let's get back on the mobile version and click on the column I'm sorry uh, just go on and add a widget so click here find the spacing widget and add it inside of it change the height like this and then now everything should be great look at the, the tablet tablet version desktop version as you can see everything is working fine um, so you can duplicate now this first section 
and we are going to switch the columns. So let me check the design. As you can see, the design are just switched. We have the big, the bigger one in the middle. So I'm going to take the bigger one and drag and drop it in the middle. And as you can see now, everything is fine. Um, so go on style and change the images, right? So I'm going to change the image of this one, the, the image of the last one very easily. Click on this one. Oh, this one is okay. Great. So now I'm going to change the bigger column again, style and change the image. Uh, we will add this one. And of course we need to fix this image. So center, center in the position, uh, size, we need to make it cover. And then we need to remove all this text because they are not there in our design. So of course you can do whatever you want. Take your time to, to, to make your stuff. So I just deleted everything. Um, click on the column here, layout and go on the bottom. And now um, with the text in the bottom, I can change it and duplicate it. So I'm going to change it with battery, uh, you know, battery lifesaver or something like that. Make the size bigger. And then I'm going to change the color of the price. I'm going to, you know, take the color from the other text, copy this text and paste it here. Again, click on the column now and um, on layout, oops, layout, click on it and bottom for the vertical alignment. And now everything should be fine. So we have a text here that I'm going to remove and that's all. So let's check the uh, tablet version now. Um, and as you can see, there is a problem here on the second row. Um, so I'm going to click the first column and make the column width 100%. Make sure in the style tab um, to change the image settings. For example, here um, we need to change it to cover for the size and then uh, no repeat and now it's done. Of course, we'll be cut it out, but as you can see, that's the version is working fine. Here uh, again, we need to um, add some spacing, there is too too much, uh, there is no spacing. So click on the spacer and drag it here inside of it, change the height of the spacer like that. And now we are going to click on this one and um, yeah, so let's make them 50%, right? Like two boxes. Um, so this is 50% now, I'm going to remove the spacer width, make it a little bit smaller, the text, we can change it. Uh, the size of it like that and also this one you can also change it but you know I will leave it like this because I go faster so um, yeah so that the settings are all good um, going on a mobile version um, we need to change some setting on the mobile version too because there is the spacer for example um, we need to make it a little bit bigger so first of all I'm going to um, go on the mobile version again and then here should be a space somewhere here is it and you can make it bigger okay so now everything looks fine um, on all the tablet mobile and desktop version uh, I guess that now we can update this and check it so I'm going to check it on the uh, browser and as you can see there is a little problem with the responsiveness of this text but the rest looks great so I'm going to fix this as I said before um, this text I highly suggest to make it percentage uh, I made it REM so now I'm setting it to percentage with a 40% oops or maybe a 50% and with percentage update the page and now it's working. So hope the tutorial was useful. Thanks a lot. Subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye.